Now for this week's community feature, and while they're not competing on three fronts, Chelsea are working hard to develop young players from an underrepresented source. Here's Mark Bright to tell us more. There's been a distinct lack of Asian players at the highest level in this country. Chelsea are in their fourth year of running an initiative to try and find an Asian star. I popped down here to the training ground in Cobham to take a look at what's going on. Ian, what are we doing here today? Um, this is an event to launch the Asian Soccer Star Tournament 2012. Um, it's the fourth year of the event. We're looking around three to 400 players. Um, so it's a big event uh, from age band from nine through to under 12. Uh, and we're obviously giving them opportunity to train here for the day. How many gems would you say you've had over the four years? Uh, we've had a number of players that have done exceptionally well. Uh, unfortunately, none of them actually progressed into our programme on a full-time basis. Um, but they've done well when they've come in. and They've obviously shown the ability throughout the day in the testing uh, that they have can, can progress onto other clubs and other academy programmes. The Asian Star programme is about showing the Asian community that opportunities do exist in football. I mean, for historical reasons, there's, there's been a divide between football and the Asian community. I mean, only two players with Asian heritage who played in the Premier League. It's something that we're looking to address and we're hoping that this programme, through the opportunities we provide, will do just that. You're Sam. Yeah. And Mark. Yeah. Mark. You won it last year, didn't you? Yeah. Show me something. You got a placement with Birmingham City, didn't you? Yeah. I had three different options. I could have signed for Coventry City, West Bromwich Albion or Birmingham. And uh, I chose Birmingham because of the discipline. They're like very kind and they do good football as well. He's been there now for you since um, November. Mm -hmm. So he's all settled in now, regular all the time in the team and everything. Um, get some of the players, made new friends. Uh, staff's great with him. Um, spot on. So how, many, how many days a week do you train? Six. Are you kidding me? No. Six days a week? Yeah. It's like a full-time job. Yeah. You know, the third generation of Asian parents, they want to be able to help. They just don't know how to now. The first generation didn't really, you know, they pushed those kind of doctors, those kind of careers, but that's changing now and hopefully that with the foundation and initiatives like this, we can almost carve paths, you know, and tell them how to go about it. He was very skillful, more skillful than me, and he tricked me, <laughs> he tricked me a few times, and uh, uh, I, would, I, would, uh, I would say I, I, he can make it in the Premier League. It gives other kids, especially Asian kids, like to have, have a good opportunity of playing football in the future and being professional. Excellent. So one day you might be professional and all the Asian kids might be looking up to you. Hopefully. When you see someone from your community succeeding in the, the highest level, it gives you the, the ambition to, to succeed as well. And for sure there will be more and more players coming from communities and making it into professional football. And one from Chelsea soon? Yeah, why not? I would be very, very proud because I would say I, I, was, I was there when it started and uh, I would say that uh, this initiative uh, gave the fruits.